Well, you all have heard it. The best time of the year. The most wonderful time of the year is Christmas. Well, I'm going to tell you on this Texas All Water Fishing why that is a lie. All right, so we all love Christmas. We all love that season of giving. You know, we've all heard it. It's better to give than receive. And it's better to go out and buy gifts for your loved ones and blah, 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 blah. I enjoy Christmas. I'm not Grinch. I don't buy humbug. I don't even know what that means. But the best time of the year is right now. Yes, it's fall. The person that wrote that song, that wrote those lyrics, obviously didn't fish in Texas. Didn't fish anywhere in the Gulf Coast. So, for us anglers that know, we know that the best time of the year is fall. For the simple fact that everything and anything that you want to catch is running around and is very active right now. Reds, for instance. Dang, that was a big old red. <laughs> There's another one. He scared everybody. Red drums can be caught all along the open water around the coastal area. You can catch them off the jetties. You can catch them off the beachfront. You can catch them off the piers. They are running in thick numbers. And people are just really slaying them right now. From Texas City to Siwa Park. That's my dog. From Texas City to Siwa Park. Everybody's having a tremendous amount of of luck catching reds, red drums. You can catch them off the pier, you can catch them off the beachfront, you can catch them off the jetty rocks, you can catch them around Texas City, Seawell Park, like I said, even in the marsh area for us kayakers and the wade fishermen that are close to the more grassy flats and bays, you can catch them anywhere and everywhere schooling up right now. They are very active. Red drum are very, very active. Great time of the year to fish for red drums. Speckled trout. You see some of these bait is jumping and moving, so kind of cast around that. When you see bait moving, when you hear those splashes, or you see it. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's what you want to see. Feels like a little red. There we go. See, we saw that bait boil up. And, uh, might be a nice trout. Oh yeah, it's a real nice trout. <clears throat> and that's in a foot of water. So that's awesome. Oh goodness! So you saw that netty jump. Oh, that's an outstanding trout on the top water. Who stinks at top water? I do. That guy. <laughs> All right, let's see where he's gonna be at. Don't have a string with me. I know Charles is keeping today. So he has his ice, his bag, so I'm gonna have 
to get it to him here in a second. Let's see where he's going to be at. See that? He is 23 and a quarter inch. Speckled trout kind of moved off the gulf, moved out of the coastal area and moved into more of the passes and the bays. And right now you can catch them any kind of grass points, any drop offs, any cuts around any oyster reefs and any grass line. The water temp is still in great condition. It's not cold. It's not too cold yet. And they are just very, very active as well. Get some of those big girls. Doesn't matter if you're throwing live bait, lures, top water, cork. I mean, the action is there for speckled trout. The action is there for reds. And my favorite, flounder. Yeah, I knew I'd get one. Uh, I hugged that whole show line. He swallowed that white one. Boop. Let's see where he's gonna be at. Uh, come on, guy. He is gonna be at just under 17 16 and three quarters beautiful beautiful fish yes during this time of the year the flounder are very very active they're gearing up they're getting ready to start their push we haven't quite had our first cold front yet so wherever they typically lay resonance they're very active they're feeding a lot because when they start the migration it's going to take a lot of energy for them to move and move out to more open waters so right now you can find them around any structure. Wherever they're resident, you can find them around any structure, any structure, bulkheads, drop off, oyster reef, oyster reefs, deep holes, guts, grass lines. I mean the flounder are active and people are just walking away with big girls. 20s to 22s, just almost every week, almost every day, I, I see people posting. Um, on social media, just stringer or flounder, nice big reds. Some guys are out there at the Texas City Dyke. I mean, they have one evening and they'll catch 27. It's awesome. It's amazing. Most wonderful time of the year is right now. So fall is one of the greatest time of the year. It is, everything is active. You have that transition. Everybody is feeding. Everybody's cooling up. You just have a lot of potential every single time that you're going on the water. It is really a fun and very active time of the year. So if you're thinking about going fishing, then go. Don't wait for the perfect time. Don't wait for the per perfect moment. Don't wait for the perfect water conditions. If you can get out there on the water, then get out there on the water. Be safe. Play it safe. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Until next time, hopefully catch me hooking up. Thanks.